In this video, I'll show you how I set up my membership and run it through Kajabi. Um, this is a really awesome platform for memberships. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey, I'm an invitation designer and I have a membership for invitation designers teaching them how to design invitations and run successful business. Um, while you're here, I hope you'll check out a ton of our videos for creative entrepreneurs, um, specifically about how to run the back end of your business. Kajabi is a tool for mine that I started investing in when I started a membership and I use it for my courses. I use it for my email marketing. You can use it for your entire website if you want. Uh, there's so many things that you can do with this platform. Um, and I have a link in the description that will get you a free two week trial of Kajabi that I hope you'll use if you check it out. So here's how I set up my membership. My membership is for wedding invitation designers and every month they get two new courses and then every week they get two emails. One is kind of a motion, motivational email and then one is more of a tutorial email, how to do something um, step by step. So I needed the email capabilities connected to the membership and I needed the abil ability to add the video courses. So what I first did, which was kind of a mistake, so learn from it, is that I made a new product um, every month for every individual course. So if a course was about working with wedding planners, I made that a product. If a course was about invitation maps, I made that a product. And then I was only offering the courses to people who paid while that course was active. So they're, if they were an active member in May when these courses went live, they would get those. Uh, but they wouldn't get the previous courses if they weren't an active member in April. And so I was being really specific with how uh, how everyone got the courses and I was being really um, stingy a little bit because I was worried that if I offered the full volume of courses that people would just wait a year, join when the year was uh, the year was up and they had all those courses and then stay in for a month, binge the courses and leave. And so that's kind of a scarcity mindset about your membership and it's not really a good mindset to be in and everyone gave me advice to do it differently and I ignored it and then I eventually changed to the other way of doing it. And so what happened when I did that was someone who'd been a member for a year had 24 different products in their library. It was getting really complicated for them. Um, and then, you know, when I, when people were saying, Hey, do we get to keep those little courses? I'd be like, no, but the good thing about that way is that if they canceled their membership, they still got to keep those courses because they had paid for them. Um, now that I've switched over, if someone cancels, they're not able to um, keep those old courses anymore because they have, but they have access to like 30 of them right when they sign up. So that's just a really enticing way to get people to sign up for the membership in the first place. And then when they like it, which that, you know, that's on me, that's my job to make sure they like it and stay. So what I previously did was I would make those two courses. So for instance, copywriting and pattern making were in October. And then I would go into my offers and I would set up the offer of October internet's a little slow. So October 21, this offer has these two products in it. And then I would go in and, um, send that to everyone who is part of the membership on October 1st. So I would manually have to do that. And then I would change my automation. So I make an automation so that whenever someone purchased either the yearly member offer or the stationary school offer, they would automatically be granted that October offer. So every Oct like October 1st, I'd have to go in and I would have to send out the October classes to everyone who was already a member. And I would have to change this automation so that everyone who is a member um, got those whenever they signed up for the course, like they did that on October 3rd, they would automatically get sent these October classes. Um, so what I've changed to now that's a lot better is my whole membership is run through these five products. So this frees up their library. So they only have these five products in their library and they can find the courses that they need. So for instance, marketing um, has courses about all things marketing, of course, um, working with wedding planners, blogging, creating a website, Google analytics, copywriting, Instagram, um, stationary flat lay photos, selling station and Etsy, et cetera. So they know when a new course is added that they are able to log in, find the pillar that it's in. And it's a lot easier to find courses in their library because they're under these five content pillars. What is also easier for me is that the automation now basically just gives anyone who purchases the course access to those five products. So now I don't even have to use the automations. Basically when they purchase stationary school or the yearly member offer, which is a different version of paying, they get 
these five products plus our little welcome product that they get and they'll automatically have those and then every month I just have to go in and update those products and make them live on the first or around the first. So it's really helpful to have everything in these products that are set so you don't have to give out new products every month but you just are updating existing products you could just have one product that's just all of your membership content um, i find that it's a little it can get like a lot to sort through once you get um once you get past you know tons and tons so like the marketing one had like 10 in it so i like to have them separated into these five different pillars so that we don't have 100 courses within one thing because that basically just repeats the same problem as having all of them as separate products so I think this is helpful for me. I know some people run their membership with just one product. You can also get like custom coding done if you want all the content to be searchable in a certain way under one product. So I know some people who have done that for their membership once they get to tons and tons of content. The last part that's really helpful in managing my membership is when this offer is purchased, they I have an automation set that automatically adds a tag, which is current student. Having everyone tagged as current student who's currently in the membership allows me to send the emails really easily. So every time I need to go in and send an email, also this nudes one is about a nude paper color. It's not something inappropriate, I promise. Um, but when I need to go in and send one of the emails, I can select that segment really easily because they are all tagged. Um, so it's not someone who's ever purchased the offer before or someone who ever had access to the product because some of the people have canceled the membership. So I have that tag that adds when they purchase the membership. And then if their payment fails or they cancel their payment uh, for the membership, then let's do test two then that tag is removed and they no longer are getting those emails. I usually just clone my emails, but if I need to send something to them, then all I have is current student and that will get me to all 150 of the current students that are subscribed. So I would say the big things for managing your membership in Kajabi are keeping the content, if there's going to be a lot and you're gonna keep adding to it, keeping it under a couple of different products and not trying to add new products. If you just have one product and one level of content that they're getting, then that's great um, and you can just create one product for that. Uh, but if you have a lot of content, try and organize it in a way that will work even when you have 20, 30, 40 different courses or pieces of content that you have for them. Um, the second thing is adding in um, that tag, which is just gonna help you and make it really easy for you to see who's a current member right now. Um, you'll also wanna make that automation so that it removes that tag when someone cancels their membership. Um, and then from there, you can really use whatever offers that you want. So you saw that I had two different offers uh, for someone who's paying monthly and someone who's paying yearly. So right here, um, they pay $35 a month or the yearly member, they pay 350. And I just link on the different checkout page. So let's see, when you go into this checkout page and you click edit checkout, I will also link the monthly version right here and then vice versa for the one that's yearly. I'll say if you wanna purchase yearly, go here and have that one right there for you. You'll also see right here, this is what's called an upsell um, in your offer and it's just adding the Kickstarter bundle. My membership assumes a certain level of knowledge. Um, it's, it's not intermediate level, but it's a little past very beginner. So this is just a $77 one time upsell that they can use if they're total beginners and they want to add that on to give them a little bit of that background knowledge that they're gonna need to get started. So I hope this was helpful in figuring out how to run a membership with Kajabi. There's also um, a type of product which is actually an online community that you can use. I did that for a while on here and no one really used it. So I defaulted to um, a Facebook community. I know other people who have members that are active within the Kajabi community. You just have to really encourage them to do that and make that exciting. And I haven't done that. So I have defaulted to the Facebook community just because it's a little easier for me running several other Facebook groups at the same time. So let me know what questions you have on Kajabi. I have a few other videos here if you want to stick around and watch and see what Kajabi can do for you. Um, I have a link in the description that will get you a free 14-day trial of Kajabi. So I hope you'll check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks everybody.